questions to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF don't switch, good times are coming on EFD diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch along, still the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South they flying, keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Eagle Affable here, Crystal Palace 3, Burnley 0. Join here with Mr. Statman Dan. Thoughts on the game? Um, well, I think it's obviously a marked improvement on, on Roy Hodgson. Um, I think we attacked very very well, uh, especially in the second half. We, I mean, admittedly, Burnley weren't very good. They are pretty terrible. Um, but they, you know, we caused them problems. At the end of the day, we're, we're the ones we had to put the ball in the net. We had to create chances, and we did. Um, and to be honest with you, like, I'm not going to slag off Roy, but I think if Roy was managing that game, I think it would have been a pretty cagey, rubbish game. They would have had chances, and I reckon it would have been maybe like 1-0, maybe, uh, at best, I think. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And obviously, he brought on, um, brought on some youth as well, uh, gave minutes to younger players, which, again, is something we've been crying out for for ages. So, overall, really happy. With Glasner, it's definitely a big change of formation, change of style to what we're used to. But to me, it seemed like they've been playing it for years and we seem to have dominated from minute one, really. Yeah, I mean, one, the only thing that I was a bit worried about with Glasner coming in was um, was he, he did start a little bit slow at Wolfsburg and at Frankfurt, which was a slight worry. But, I, I mean, he didn't even take the game against Everton. It was quite obviously his tactics. Quite obviously it was his tactics. And yet, even in the Everton game, it sort of felt like they managed, they, they understood the system. And then obviously, fast forward just under a week later, they seem a lot more settled. So after, say, four or five games, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where we are because it just seems like an upward trajectory based on those two games. Definitely. Do you think that we got it spot on on Tati Eagle again? Of course, always, always. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we talked a lot about Glass's tactics and we, we saw that today. We saw that um, on uh, on Monday as well. Um, yeah, uh, I think the, yeah, the tactics we talked about on there, like Munoz be, uh, be, being so attacking, the wing, wing backs being so attacking, also the press as well. We did, we t uh, they're all things that we talked oh, about. <laughs> and then, and, and I know we didn't talk much about Burnley as well, but I think, you know, I think we were right in saying that we were expecting us to win today. Definitely. They, they did go down to 10 men, but genuinely we're, we're worse against 10 men, funny enough. But I think we actually done all right today. Yeah, no, absolutely. I kind of feel sorry for uh, Brownhill, the one that got sent off, because it wasn't yeah. his fault. I thought he's got to make that, he's got to make that tackle. Traffers put it right in it. And I think, te I mean, it would have been a hard game for them anyway. And the fact that they've then gone down to 10 men just made it even more difficult, especially with how wide we like to play as well. I think it did expose the gaps to them once we scored that first goal then it was inevitable that space was going to open up and then we would score potentially more um, and yeah and yeah uh, we know that you've been a big supporter of Mr Adam Walton for a good, very long time nearly got sent off today I have to say but how good was his performance today I thought I thought I thought he was very good um, to be honest I expect I, I expect it off him like every game he's played so far he's been really good and I just don't expect any different now. And for, for someone who's only just turned 20, that's incredible to make that step up from the Championship to the Premier League. Um, I wouldn't say he was probably one of our best players today, but he, he was definitely solid. And I mean, come on, he's, a Black, he's, he's from Blackburn. His family support Blackburn. He probably was almost going to get sent off today against Burnley. <laughs> uh, finally, who's your man of match today, mate? Oh, good question. Um, I'm torn between Munoz and Lerma. Uh, you know what? I'll give it. I'll give it to Munoz just because he's new, and I think he's made a really good impact since coming. So, Dan, pleasure at the Palace. Up the Palace. Eagles.